Hello friends, in the last video, we have discussed the Web Application Messaging Protocol WAMP, WAMP. Now today, we are going to understand WAMP and AutoBAN for IoT. So we will be discussing the terms WAMP, AutoBAN and Crossbar IoT. Hello and welcome to our channel Ullas Kumar Bukli for Learning. The topic for today is introducing a window WAMP, AutoBAN and Crossbar IoT. Let us start with the agenda. First, we'll discuss the Evendo. Then we'll discuss the WAMP. Then we'll have discussion on AutoBAN and then Crossbar IO. And lastly, we'll have discussion on the WAMP AutoBAN for IoT. Let us start with the Tevendo. Now, Tevendo is an open source Germany-based developer providing middleware and leveraging web sockets, enabling developers to build next generation applications including web mobile and internet of things apps so we have to understand this so it's a open source germany based developer so it is giving us the ability to develop applications on iot evendo created and maintains the web application messaging protocol and crossbar io that is nothing but a unified application router and autoban autoban is nothing but real time web framework so all these three they are maintained by the event so this stack is comprised of the following three components we have the wamp then autoban and the crossbar io so we'll discuss each of these components in details so that you have understanding about these components so first we'll discuss the web application messaging protocol that is WAMP. Now WAMP already we have discussed this in details in the last video. You can watch the video. WAMP is a network protocol providing unified application routing while harnessing the power of web sockets which is the preferred transport in most instances. So that means it is used for the transport and WAMP enables various technologies and processes to communicate with one another in soft real time and offers two tools to achieve this so we have already discussed these two tools first is the remote procedure call rpc and second is the publish subscribe that is the pop sub so remote procedure calls rpc which is a messaging pattern involving caller callee and dealer whereas the publish subscribe pop sub which is a messaging pattern involving publisher, subscriber and broker. We have discussed the details of this in the last video. Again, you can watch that video before going for the, this video. By incorporating RPC and PopSub into one protocol, front and back end apps can communicate with each other. So that is the main purpose of WAMP. So this RPC and PopSub, they are combined in one protocol. So in this regard, the RPC is used to perform actions and the PopSub is used to receive notifications regarding actions performed by the RPC. So in this way, these two protocols are combined into one. Then WAM makes it easy for clients to talk transparently to each other. So that is the main purpose of creating this protocol. Then let us go to the AutoBAN. So AutoBAN is an open source real time framework enabling implementations of WAMP and WebSockets protocol using multiple languages that are supported by Tevento. So, here you have to understand this AutoBAN is a project which is real time framework enabling the implementation of WAMP and WebSocket protocol. So, both protocols it supports and it is done in the multiple languages. So, let us see what are these languages. First is the AutoBAN Python. So this is based on the Python language. Then we have the AutoBAN JS, which is based on the JavaScript. Then next we have the AutoBAN CPP based on C++. And we have AutoBAN Android, which is based on Android. Then each language is considered as a sub project within its own sub community and developers. So as per your need, you can choose any of these sub projects and do the implementation of this WAMP using the particular language. Then next we have the AutoBAN Python 
is utilized as a part of crossbar io itself so crossbar io is nothing but a router so while these four libraries are supported by tevendu now tevendu is the company which is managing all these libraries so there are other libraries which are provided by third parties that means other vendors so that will include the languages such as c hash java and php there are other languages also almost 9 to 10 languages are supported by this so atoban also includes a fully automated testing tool called as the atoban test suite so which will be again you can it's open so then let us go to the crossbar io so crossbar io is a open source router used with wap right so the purpose of crossbar io is to enable each connected component that is web page website mobile client or iot device to communicate with each other so that is the main purpose of crossbar io it's a router then the wap protocol then provides the two communication tools rpc and pops up that is what we have discussed so to achieve the communication between the components these two rpc and pops up publisher subscriber this will be used then crossbar io also includes an integrated web server and enable developers to use crossbar io created applications with any wamp client library including the autobahn so this background you have to understand the relationship between wamp crossbar io and the autobahn then the last thing is the topic which we are interested wamp autobahn for iot now here first we'll just introduce this wamp connects components in distributed applications using publish and subscribe that is pop sub and the routed reboot procedure called rpc these two are used for the wamp so it is ideal for distributed multi client and server applications so just you have to understand this distributed multi client and server application so in iot the applications are just multi client and distributed that's why it is more suitable for the iot applications and also it can be used for multi user database driven business applications then autoban python is a sub project of autoban and provides open source implementation of these two protocols web socket protocol and the web application messaging protocol wap for python 3.7 that is 3.7 plus that is the version of the python and running on twisted and async io so these two are nothing but the networking frameworks so the twisted is an event driven networking engine written in python and licensed under the open source whereas the async io that is asynchronous io is a library to write concurrent code using the async await syntax we'll discuss this in details in the next video then lastly you can use the autoban python to create clients and servers in python speaking just plain web sockets or wap so this is what is the actual meaning of autoban python so this autoban python will use the python language whereas autoban js will use the javascript so what is important here is we can create clients and servers and they can speak to each other using the web application messaging protocol or web so so here we are interested in the wap so with this we come to the end of this video if you have any questions you can contact me on facebook twitter gmail or instagram then if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel ullas kumar gokhale for learning and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notifications for our future videos on this subject internet of things and thanks for watching have a nice day